Welcome to NYU. Welcome to New York University. Welcome to Steinhardt. Welcome to the Steinhardt School of Culture, Education, and Human Development. I would describe Steinhardt as a community, a collection of very warm, friendly people that really are looking to make a change in this world. It's like my second home. Come join us on a virtual tour of what NYU and Steinhardt have to offer. Steinhardt is right in the heart of the city. It's like the city is your classroom. While we don't have a traditional campus, many of NYU's buildings are centered around Washington Square Park, so it's kind of like our quad. You'll see all different types of people, including NYU students, of course, but people who are local to the city. Just to the east of the park, we've got Pless Hall, home to Steinhardt's main administrative offices. You'll find graduate admissions, student affairs, global affairs, and the dean's office here. You might also find yourself coming through here for classes or other academic pursuits. Pless Hall also houses the departments of Occupational Therapy and Administration Leadership and Technology, along with the program in Educational Theater. There's also a black box theater, occupational therapy labs. It's a great place to hang out. We've got two large lounges, as well as a number of department-affiliated student spaces, which are great for studying or taking a coffee break. There's always music floating through the halls, and the black box sometimes has the doors open. That's where a lot of my ideas sort of come to life. The East Building is home to our Department of Teaching and Learning and Media, Culture, and Communication. The Department of Teaching and Learning spans four floors and includes the wonderful Georgiou Library and Resource Center for Children and Literature. It also includes STEMI Education and Research Center. Media, Culture and Communication is on the top two floors and features spectacular spaces to gather, study and collaborate. This includes an amazing event space on the eighth floor. You get to have intimate discussions with your professors and the students and there are a lot of places in the East Building to just sit and relax and have a lot of discussions in between classes. Right across the street, you'll find Kimball Hall, which was originally built as a department store. This building now serves as the main center for the Department of Applied Psychology and Applied Statistics, Social Sciences, and Humanities. The Department of Applied Psychology also houses the Center for Counseling and Community Wellbeing, which provides mental health counseling students opportunities to practice what they're studying. Finally, there's the Kimball Occupational Therapy Functional Performance Lab, a multi-purpose space used by the Department of Occupational Therapy. It houses specialty equipment, including pediatric swings and hospital beds. Just around the corner from Kimball Hall is the Education Building. At street level is the Frederick Lowe Theater, where you can see all sorts of performances. You'll find a mix of everything, from symphonies and jazz to operas and dance recitals, all of which are open to the public. The building is largely devoted to our Department of Music and Performing Arts professions. There are a variety of programs on site, ranging from instrumental and vocal performance, to programs in composition, music, business, and arts administration, music and dance education, and creative arts therapies in music and theater. The building also contains classrooms, teaching and rehearsal studios, individual practice rooms, a student lounge, and the 7,500-foot James L. Dolan recording studio, alongside smaller studios and audio booths. I go to the education building for all of my classes. I'm also the graduate research assistant for my program, so I'm always there doing research. My favorite spot in the education building is the third floor grad student lounge. Um, it's a great space to study and have some, some time to yourself. Every elevator ride, you know, someone gets off and the doors open and you hear someone playing the drums and the next floor you hear someone practicing trumpet. And it's pretty inspiring to hear, you know, all these people working that hard toward their craft and it pushes you as well. 3rd North, located at 75 3rd Avenue, is a student dormitory that contains jazz and piano classrooms, studios, and practice rooms for our music students. The John A. Paulson Center is a multi-purpose building that houses a multitude of facilities, including a common area, athletic facilities, as well as instructional, rehearsal, practice, recording, and performance spaces for music and performing arts students. This includes NYU's first professional-level proscenium flyloft theater for student productions. A few blocks over, we've got 665 Broadway, home to the Department of Communicative Sciences and Disorders. 
On the ninth floor, we have the department's state-of-the-art speech and hearing clinic, a training facility that gives students the opportunity to provide services to the public, both children and adults. Down the sixth floor is a research suite, which houses research faculty offices and labs with state-of-the-art equipment. Many students participate in faculty research labs. A few blocks over is 411 Lafayette. The fifth floor is home to our Department of Nutrition and Food Studies. Our Nutrition and Food Studies students will also be able to take advantage of our nearby urban farm lab, a research and teaching farm located on Houston Street in the heart of Greenwich Village, as well as the Nutrition and Food Studies Food Lab, a teaching kitchen and food and nutrition idea incubator on the 10th floor of the Education Building at 35 West 4th Street. Over in the East Village, we have the Barney Building, which is the home of our Department of Art and Art Professions. The entire art department community is housed in this building. Barney also contains classrooms, studios, and workshops in sculpture, painting, printmaking, metalworking, woodworking, fabrics, ceramics, and photography, plus a digital fabrication lab and a private studio spaces for MFA students. There are two student exhibition spaces on site the Commons and the Rosenberg Gallery. My favorite Steinhardt Spa is the exhibition space on the first floor because you can see what like, other art students are doing. A short walk, bus, or subway ride away from the Washington Square campus, we have 380 2nd Avenue, located on the corner of 22nd Street and 2nd Avenue. It's right in the midst of NYU's health corridor and close to world-class teaching hospitals. Up on the fourth floor, we have the Department of Physical Therapy. Facilities include teaching labs with the latest in physical therapy and instructional equipment. On the third floor, we have the Arthur J. Nelson Jr. Human Performance Laboratory, a state-of-the-art lab with 2,000 square feet of dedicated research space. Over in Brooklyn, we have 370 J Street, a collaborative hub for engineering, media, technology, and the arts. Our program in educational communication and technology is housed here, along with the Music Audio Research Laboratory, which brings together scholars from music theory, technology and composition, computer and information science, interactive media, and media studies. There's also a large recording studio on site. Steinhardt Music Business students use the recording studios to write, mix, and produce EPs with students not only from Steinhardt, but from Tisch, Gallatin, and the College of Arts and Sciences as well. What isn't inside the J Street building? It's like Steinhardt Plus, like if Steinhardt is collaborative, J Street's ultra collaborative. Because it houses a lot of different schools. It's a brand new facility and it's, it's really decked out with like all, all the good stuff. <laughs> In addition to Steinhardt facilities and resources, here are some all-university resources that our graduate students make use of. Just south of the park, we have NYU's flagship library, Vogue's Library. There are tons of great places to study here, including two floors open 24 hours a day, as well as some spaces that are only open to graduate students. The first time I entered Bob's, I was in awe. It is a beautiful building. I spent a lot of time in the graduate reading rooms that face the park with the floor to ceiling windows. It really is like an atmosphere where I can concentrate and focus. I love it in there. Just next door, we have the Kimmel Center, home to a number of student life resources, including clubs, the LGBTQ Plus Center, and the Global Spiritual Life Center, just to name a few. The terraces are awesome. You can join the summer breeze on the terrace and you can look down and see all the busy people walking. It's just very peaceful and relaxing to me. The Student Link Center is located at 383 Lafayette. This space is all about student services with counselors who are cross-trained in registrar, financial aid, financial education, bursar, and international student services. For student services, you might also check out 726 Broadway, where you'll find residential life and housing services, the Student Health Center, and the Moses Center for Student Accessibility. The Wasserman Center for Career Development offers specialized career coaching, events, and resources to meet the particular needs of current and recent NYU masters, doctoral, and advanced certificate students. 
I've talked to several career counselors there to look over my resume and cover letters, help me do mock interviews. The Wasserman Center has really helped me advance my career in a lot of different ways. Well, I hope you enjoyed your virtual tour. We really hope to see you in person and we can't wait to welcome you here at NYU. We hope to see you soon.